Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at blending modes. Now blending modes are really powerful, but they do tend to be a little bit of an experimentation. It's not a case of knowing exactly where you're going to go. Um, it's a little bit of a journey and a journey into the unknown sometimes. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try and get to a place that I think is, is pretty good. And I'd like to try and mix four images together and make a grungy sort of composition. And here you can see I've got four images. I've got my sailing ship and I've got a, a rusty old chain. It's got some nice texture and some, some colour. And we've got a, an abstract texture. And here we've got another abstract texture. So I'm going to try and put them together and show you how I would go around making a, a little bit of a grungy sort of um, composite image using blend modes. So there we are. Let's make a start. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. Okay, so we've, we've got a first image, we've got a boat image. So let's try, say, one of the textures. Okay, let's go for the abstract texture. Um, now I'm going to make sure I've got my move tool, which I can do that by pressing the V key, or I can go and click on it in the toolbox. And I'm going to click and drag it, and I'm going to drag it into my sailing ship image. And I'm going to drag it back, keeping my finger on the mouse, and let it go. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than the original image, so I'm just going to drag it up into that corner. And I'm going to transform it with Control and T or Command and T if you're on a Mac. And drag it out so that it fits. And then I'm going to click the tick or double click inside the transform to set it down. Right, if you look at the layers panel now, you'll see I've got two layers. So now my blend modes will jump into life because you need at least two layers to blend one layer with another. So I'm going to try some blend modes um, and I'll just show you that quickly. You can click on it or we can we can click. Now there isn't that many of them so it's really just a case of experimenting with some of them. Um, now the top one here, these, these ones are the darkened modes and these will give you a darker result from your blend. These are the lighten modes, so these will give you a lighter um, colour from your blend. These are the overlays, and basically this lot here give you well, they give you an they will increase the contrast, and so they will they will push the blacks even blacker. They'll push the whites whiter, and they'll not do much in the middle. Uh, so you'll have like an, an increase in contrast. Uh, we've got difference, exclusion, subtract and divide. These tend to be a little bit more arty. And then we've got the colour ones. We've got hue, saturation, colour and luminosity. Now some of these you'll not use in, in ever in your life. Uh, some of them you will use quite a lot. Um, so it's just a case of trying to, um, uh, to go through an experiment. Um, now I can click on what will dissolve it's a little bit for me, a little bit of a chocolate fire guard. I, I haven't found anything that it really works on yet. Um, but let's go for the darken mode. So here, all these darken modes are really different methods of darkening. It's different mathematics, that's all. Um, and we can go through them. We can say, well, let's try and multiply. Well, that's a little bit better. Uh, I quite like it in the sky, actually. Go for a colour burn. Now that takes it away a little bit and we can go for dark and oh, don't not keen on that. You see what I'm doing? It's just a case of going through. Now, I don't think any of the light and ones are going to be any good. I'm not keen on that. I'd like this to be a bit grungy. So I can try overlays. Now overlays not bad, but I think it's just blowing it out a little bit. Try soft light. Mm, no, I'm not keen on that. Hard light. Mm, no. I'm not getting very far here, so let's try a hard mix. Oh no, that's uh, that really blows the contrast out. That and the difference. Oh, actually, that's not bad. It gives you a gives you a different look on the image. Certainly, exclusion. No, it's a bit grey. That uh, subtract. Oh no, well that's definitely not much good. And divide. 
actually that's not bad but I think my preference here well we can try some of the ones say I'll just go through the lot the hue not really going to be much good saturation no we're just going to get basically a, a monotone image color not much going off there and then luminosity oh well you lose it all together on luminosity I think my favorite here is going to be multiply because it actually fills some of this in into the, the the bland sky behind it I quite like that now if you want to you can then play with the opacity and the opacity and it's itself is a blending mode so we can drop the opacity or we can increase the opacity I think I'll just drop it just a tiny bit say down to about 80 percent and I'll be happy with it there right okay I think we're going in a good direction let's get another one in now so we've used that one so we'll get this one with some nice cracks on right so again I've got my move tool I'm dragging it up I'm pausing and then I'm dragging it back and I'm letting it go just drag it into the corner and then again transform it to make it a little bit bigger because it just doesn't quite fit and then I'll click the tick or double click inside the transform to accept it right same process with this I think we'll ignore the chocolate fire guard and we'll try a darken hmm actually that's not bad I'm quite liking that uh, yeah I'll try the opacity a little bit hmm okay now I'll, I'll, I might come back to that so we've got multiply hmm, probably a little bit dark that but let's go through I don't think many of the lightings are going to be any good they'll just blow it all out no I don't like that and we'll try an overlay Mm, no, that's that. That's getting close. Let's try. Let's say go for the 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 hard mix, the hardish one. Oh no, no, I don't like that. And we'll come back. Oh, pin light. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite liking that. I've got quite a lot of the cracks in, although I've got a big hole here at the bottom, which I'm not really that keen on. Let me try linear light. And that's filling in the bottom so let's try linear light with just drop the opacity a little bit hmm okay no we'll 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 go with that we'll go with that for the time being right we'll get another one so we'll get our little bit of rusty chain this time and we'll click and I'm gonna drag and I'm gonna bring it back and drop it and again it's a bit smaller so I need to transform it to make it a bit bigger just stick it in that corner in fact I might stick it right in the corner and then I'm going to transform it and I'll transform it but a bit bigger something like that and then I'll drag that back into that corner just so as I can make it fit something like that and then I'll double click to accept it and it should render it out a bit sharper that's perfect right again let's try some blend modes let's try a uh, multiply mm, okay but a bit dark let's try a screen well no screens a little bit yeah that I don't think any of the lighting blends modes are going to work on any of these overlay hmm actually that's not so bad that I quite like that one I have to put my I'll have to remember that one and soft light yes okay that's not bad and I think we're losing quite a lot of the chain let's see if there's anything else that we can do hard light hmm actually that isn't bad if I just drop the opacity a little bit yeah I'm really liking what's going on in this corner here and I think what I'd like to do is just like lessen the impact of the chain just in this area and on the boat okay so how can I do that well with that I can just put a mask on so I'll go down to the mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel put a mask on I need to select my brush tool and I can do that by pressing the B key and I need black as my foreground color 
So if it's not, just press the D key to reset them and then press the X key to toggle until you get black as your foreground colour. And then what I'm going to do is get a nice big brush by pressing my square bracket. So I've now got a nice soft brush. So if you look up here, I've got a 1700 pixel and it's got no hardness. So it's a nice soft edge brush. Now what I'm just going to do is just see if I can just feather out that chain where the boat is. Because I like it at the bottom and the top. I'm quite liking that. Okay, okay. You can see on the mask here that where it's black, I can see through to the layers underneath. Right, okay. I'm, I'm quite getting into this. I like that. I think one thing I'd like to try now is to try and see what black and white looks like. So I'll do that with a black and white adjustment layer. Ooh. Yeah, I think it, it looks quite good in black and white. So I'll just tweak these colours a little bit because I I've, I've can get into different colour ranges and the yellows. I know there's plenty of greens knocking around. And there's a bit of blue in that sky, so I'll just darken the sky down a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite liking that. Yeah, yeah. And we could try a tint. Okay. And we've got a tint to make it look a little bit oldie worldy. So I'll just drop it down. So we've just got a hint of that sepia sort of colour. I don't want it in my face. Just a little bit of a hint of sepia. And then we'll click OK. And there we have it. I think I'm done. I think, oh, I'll tell you what. I think what we'll do is we'll just put a border around. Just a thin pencil border around. And I'll do that with a style. So I'll just take the background layer off by clicking on the padlock. And then I'll go to my FX icon. And we'll go for stroke. And on the stroke, you can see, I'll put it on the inside because I've put this stroke on the inside. It'll, it'll conform to the corner, so I'll get a square edge to the stroke. If I put it outside, I'll get a round edge and I don't want that. Colour, I'll leave to white. And I'll just pull this up a little bit. Just to give me a little bit of a white edge to it. And that... I think it looks quite nice because it's been affected by the blend mode as well. So it's giving me like a little bit of a 3D effect. Okay. All right. I'm going to live with that. I like that. There we have it. The finished article. How to use blend modes to create interesting composite images. There's obviously a lot more to it. Um, and then we'll be covering that in future videos. But if you like this video, then please share it around. Um, leave me a comment under the video and give me a thumbs up uh, if you did like it. Please, that would be fantastic. Uh, if you like me, go, go to my Facebook page and give me a like on there, which would be great. And that's Live Link Training on Facebook. Um, and please click that subscribe button. It really does help me to reach more people with my videos. And that allows me to make more videos. Right, okie okay, cookie. Okay. Well, that's about it. Hope it was okay for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.